He's all about exploring and testing his limits now. Days like this are filled with mixed emotions for Liz Allen. She is just hours from returning the animals she has been watching for the past two weeks to the SPCA. She's sad to see them go, but happy for the positive impact she has had on their lives and vice versa. Usually I just tell myself that they're going to go and make other people happy and they maybe wouldn't have been as successful had I not been in their lives. So. Alan, who is a student, helps out the shelter by fostering mother cats and their kittens. It's a perfect arrangement for the animal lover who has a somewhat unpredictable life. I move around a lot and I wouldn't want to I wouldn't want to adopt a cat and then not be able to stay with him or her for his, their entire life because it's, that's not fair because you form such bonds with them. But she admits she has developed a strong bond with this mother cat. She's such a strange cat too, that's what I love about her. I feel like she's my, the cat version of me. <laughs> like, if I were a cat, I'd be a weirdo like her. The kitten has grown tremendously in the short time he's lived with Liz, both in size and personality. She originally called him Chicken Little because of his timid nature. If it was me and I was a cat, <laughs> I would be like very scared at first too, especially if it's like an environment that you're not used to. And so I was just kind of like doing my best to move slowly to not add anything, to not add any more like scary things. But slowly he became more comfortable and a prime candidate for adoption. That's actually one of the, the most beautiful things about fostering them from when they're really young is you get to see all of their little individual personalities like just grow and yeah, it's really great. Cats are fostered by the SPCA when they have kittens or need medicine or just extra attention for some reason and the shelter does everything they can to make it easy on the foster parent. The SPCA pays for all of the food and the litter and they provide you with everything that you need. So that was like, that's the cherry on the top. In addition to providing a safe environment for cats or dogs that need it, the fostering process also helps with socialization. All of the cats and kittens that Liz has looked after have since been adopted. This is the third group of kit cats that I've got so far. And while the goodbyes are difficult, Liz has adopted a philosophical attitude towards sending the cats back out into the world. It's almost like you think about the people that come in and out of your life. You make such great friends and then you know like maybe you'll never see each other again and you just go off and do your own thing but you know and you're thinking about them and I'm sure I have this theory that the cats they can remember it and they know and they think about me every now and then. For information on fostering either cats or dogs visit SaskatoonSPCA.com. For Go on Shaw TV, I'm Simon Hyatt.